David was, you know, trying to catch it so he could get the, get the bag off the foot. And so what would happen, though, is when, when the chicken would start running, if David would, you know, try to grasp it or pick it up or whatever, the chicken would start running, and, of course, the bag would inflate from the air, and it would start flapping around. <laughs> and David named the chicken Subway because he had the Subway bag on him. So, and so, and so, when he, so then the bag would start flapping, and Subway, the chicken, would start running around in circles and get frantic because the bag would flap. And then, um, and then he'd kind of get tired and he'd stop, Subway would, and then when he'd stop, of course, the bag would deflate and it would all calm down and he would go, good, it's all over, and he would be calm again. And then, and then he'd start running around again and the bag would flap and he'd scare himself to death, you know? So finally, David got the bag off of him, I think. But, so a lot of times we're like Subway, right? Is that we get upset, we get scared, and, and we think something horrible's happening, and really we just got that plastic bag stuck on us somewhere and it's flapping. You know, it's flapping. And the more we run around and the more frantic we get, the more that bag inflates and the more it flaps and the scareder we get. And we get into this spiral of fear. And when we're doing that, you know, like David was trying to help Subway, but we can't, it's, it's not that God's not there. It's not that God's not reaching out. I mean, God is always there, but we're kind of, all that interference is happening and so we can't really receive that help. We can't really let it in. And so a lot of times what's keeping us from hearing God, what's help keeping us from receiving that love of God is that that fear is creating so much interference and that bag is flapping so hard that we're scaring ourselves. And so the opportunity is to begin to do just what the psalmist you know, wrote about is to be still. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. I don't think there's anything on this earth or in our lives that takes more courage than when that bag is flapping to just stop. 